made our way down the roughly seven or so miles of 4x4 trails through the Sequoia National Forest and into the Inyo National Forest. Our friend Jesse linked up with us for this final leg of our southwestern overland journey. She's grown to love this lifestyle and looks forward to any opportunity to set out with us on an adventure. Nestled high in the southern half of the eastern Sierras in California, Menachee Mountain stands as constant guard over sagebrush meadows that go on for miles. Where the south fork of the Kern River makes its way to Lake Isabella, 
carving a path through the high prairie. Home to one of the last native golden trout populations in the world. This is a special place where peacefulness is permeating and you can truly feel the calm restore your soul. At over 8,000 feet elevation, the summer heat of California disappears, which is one reason why this place is often our local escape. We hate telling you this, but the secret that is Menachee Meadows is already out, making this expansive space very crowded on long and holiday weekends. Despite the popularity, it's still a sight to behold, and the adventure getting here is just enough to make the drive interesting. We settled into our favorite campsite with the whole tent system deployed, so our friend Jesse could stay with us for this last stop of this adventure. So we decided to uh, make our way back from Colorado and Utah back to California. There was a section where the winds were like 20, 30 miles an hour with gusts of 40 to 50 miles an hour between Colorado and quite honestly California all through the desert, even Flagstaff, Arizona. So we decided to uh, get a hotel room and Flagstaff, not set up the tent. It's not worth risking the uh, trailer and all the uh, canvas and, and metal bars and everything. You know, don't want to turn that into a pretzel. So, stayed there one night and deadheaded from Flagstaff to uh, one of our favorite spots. It's uh, Menachee Meadows. And, uh, pretty popular area a lot of people know about it a lot of dispersed camping in the area but if you come at the right time you can actually find a very very nice quiet peaceful secluded spot to be able to just rest and relax and I think that after all this traveling that's exactly what we need for the last few days on this little adventure so so we'll give you a tour around and let you see one of our favorite spots. And uh, if you come check it out, just make sure to leave it better than you found it. It's kind of a very sensitive area, so enjoy.
poops a lot. Get off me. Go, go. Have a book, please. Do you want a book? Yeah. Okay. Mama will get you a book, okay? I had a feeling the crayons would win. I don't know. There's two. Here, you want those in your bucket? There you go. You know, it's funny. Normally when we pull out her toy box, she's a happy camper. She plays all by herself. But right now, Yayas is here, and so it's like disco ball. <laughs> I love the way every time we open it, she's like, oh, like she's never seen those toys before. Number five. Look. Now we are going to attempt to walk to the, I think it's a South Fork, East Fork, North Fork, one of the forks of the Kern River. <laughs> Somewhere. It is much warmer today than it was yesterday. A little bit. No, no, it's much warmer. <laughs> I like the fact that there are cows here. It's kind of hard to see them with that lens, but they're back there. Moo cows. And here we go. Oh, wow.
and shoes off and let her walk in. Sure. I do have sandals for her. Oh, there's <laughs> Was she chasing a bug? I have no idea what she did. <laughs> do you want to get in the water? Yeah. Okay. All right, let's take your socks and shoes off then. You want to get in the water? Daddy, get in the water? that day. Time to pack up. It's always a bit bittersweet when you hit the end of a trip. This has been a long one. Three, yes. three weeks? Yes. It's just one of those things after enjoying all this time off and different locations from Utah and Colorado and now up in the Sequoias. Tomorrow is technically our, the last day of our trip, but we have decided that we're going home today. It'll be a late day or a late night getting home. With this being a holiday weekend, if we get out of here now, then we won't have to fight all the other people that are trying to come up and find spots and on that trail, so. <laughs> Say hi. You wanna talk? Yes, duck. Oh. Um, um, oh. Hey, are you ready to go home? No. <laughs> Wait. No, she's not ready to go. Okay.
Having the kids' room as an option on the X1H makes it easy to expand our tent space for when we have friends and family with us. It has come in handy for us on multiple occasions. It's easy to set up and tear down and packs away nicely in the back. Just like the changing room, we always pack it up the same way and compress it down to save space. <laughs> and it just gave birth to a yummy. <laughs> never easy saying goodbye to a long trip. Reality always has a way of creeping back into your thoughts. Work, bills, responsibilities, all the normal stuff that ties us down in life. We are always thankful for our blessings, and the ability to get away and disconnect is one of those. We sometimes forget the time before social media the internet, instant messaging, when we just were. No notifications, and people had to call or see you in person to have a conversation. We can still have those times, but you actually have to work for it. You have to make it a part of your life. We are working on it, and are thankful we can share our story with you, and hopefully, inspire you to disconnect as well, to be a part of what's really important in life, to be a patriot in faith, in your family, embracing freedom with friends and fellowship, all while having fun. That's what Six Overland is about. Taking that step, living your best life, it's available to each and every one of us. You just have to take that step, that leap of faith, to get out and explore.
Hey, Jesse, how's your book? Not bad. Is it utter nonsense? <laughs> Get it? Utter. <laughs> you need to move that camera. <laughs> Ready? My milkshake brings all the cows to the yard. <laughs> and they're like, it's, it's better, better than yours. And they're like, okay. We like the cows, the cows that go moo. We're Angus and Heffa, and we like the moo. <laughs> well, yes. What was yours? Move, Heffa. Get out the way. Get out the way. Get out the way. Are you really milking this joke right here? <laughs> it's fun. Came in last night about half past ten. That lady of mine wouldn't let me in. So move it on over. <laughs> Rock it on over. Move over. <laughs> uh. That's, how long have you been thinking of that? <laughs> well, that's it for this episode. If you'd like to see more, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and click the notifications button so you'll be the first to know when we post new content. It's something small you can do to help us out. Thanks for watching. Our journey has just begun.